Joy, like enthusiasm, that's oh, what we want. It's going to be a wait. great night, yeah. and you're part of it as well, uh, by obviously getting your fundraising packs and getting going. So good luck with that. We'll tell you all about it in the next couple of weeks. On to the weather. It is, of course, we won't forget, it's sort of like bonfire weekend, yeah, isn't it? It's like, yeah. all starting right. tonight, many of them. Mm. Yes, lots of people will be looking to the skies for a decent forecast for this evening and across the weekend. And most of the weekend is looking all right. We've had some gorgeous weather pictures. Take a look at this chilly start. Mark Cooper braving the frost in the New Forest this morning. Uh, warmed up a bit though, didn't it? Blue skies over Abingdon here, Oxfordshire this lunchtime. Thanks, John. Tracy Smith captured this marvellous sunset. That is superb. Sandbanks looking as good as ever. So yes, there will be some eager-eyed people looking to the skies for those bonfire forecasts for this evening and on into the weekend. We did quite nicely today, didn't we? Blue skies through much of our region. Our thanks go to Granny Millie for that Weather Watchers photo there. And there'll be a bit more sunshine around tomorrow, predominantly for eastern parts, seeing the best of the brightness, but all of us seeing a little bit of brightness through the day. And we'll notice those winds picking up as well. Overnight tonight then, largely clear skies across our region, just a haze perhaps of some higher level cloud nudging in from the west. But it will feel cool once more, temperatures close to freezing in many spots and I suspect locally we could see a touch of frost in some areas. So it's still a chilly start to the weekend. For Saturday then, we will have some brightness early on, some good sunshine to get the day started. We'll notice a little more cloud through western parts and this is ahead of a front which is heading our way. Tomorrow's top temperatures peaking at around 13 degrees and feeling pleasant in that sunshine. Now your inshore waters for tomorrow, the winds will be southwesterly, five or six, occasionally seven for a time in the west later, then backing southeast four or five, and the sea state will be moderate, occasionally rough later. On into tomorrow night then, and it looks like we will have that cloud beginning to work its way in a little more. So predominantly, again, it's through western parts that we see that cloud coverage where it could just be thick enough to bring us some light rain and some drizzle. Temperatures comfortably seven or eight degrees, so quite a contrast on what we'll see overnight tonight. Then there is a little bit of uncertainty in the forecast for Sunday, and that's to do with this weather system pushing in from the southwest. It's that eastern edge. We're not quite sure how far it will track across, but it looks like at this stage we'll see western parts with quite a bit of grey and wet weather, but further east, the best of the brightness. So a bit of a mixed bag through the day on Sunday. We've got those mild temperatures, though, to take us into the new working week, and things do look to settle as well.